hello. This is the intro. This is the first time I've remembered to film like the actual look on. So this is what I did. I kind of went a little crazy. What's new? I guess this is the first time I've kind of gone crazy here <laughs> on my channel. Um, yeah. I used like really only two palettes, but I did pull from a couple others for just like random trying to fix mistakes, okay. But yeah, it was really fun. You know, really only used my fingers. I used like one brush just because my fingers got too dirty. <laughs> but yeah, I'm here in my number one dad t shirt for you full on cons. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to know how I got this look, roll the clip. It's like 10 o'clock right now. I'm wearing my number one dad t-shirt. Thank you, Chelsea. I am your number one dad. Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do a finger painting look because I don't think I've done one yet on my channel. <laughs> so I thought that'd be fun. My eyes are already primed. I used Milk Kush, no, <laughs> Milk Flex Concealer in the shade Porcelain. I need to stop looking at myself in the mirror. I need it right here. All right. So let's just get into it. So I think I'm going to use my favorite. I've been testing out Holy Bonnie, it just came out, okay? So I can't say if it's my favorite yet or not because Disco Dynamite is my all-time fave and I don't know if I'm ready to give up that title yet, okay? It took a lot for me to say that this is my favorite palette because I have never said that I had a favorite palette, but this, you see this, this pan, that's how you know. <laughs> and I wasn't even trying, okay? I wasn't even trying. Anyway, so I think we're gonna use these two. We'll see what, we'll see what happens. Let me show you them side by side. Hmm. Huh. I don't know what I want to do. All right, I'm gonna dive into Boogie, which is from the Disco Dynamite palette. It's this like really nice mid-tone ocean blue. I'm just gonna make a weird shape with my finger, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go in with Mint from the Totally Botany palette, which is like a minty color. Dare I say? I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna wing it, alright? I'm gonna put concealer on. It's gonna get out of control, I feel. This is the usual Milk Flex Concealer and Cream. Anyway, back to me. I think this is a really nice color in this palette. Now I'm going in with Scent, which is probably my favorite color from the Disco Dynamite palette. You know, how dare I pick a favorite color? I can barely pick a favorite palette. And now I'm gonna go in with Pine. Mm, totally bought me. We'll fix it. We'll go over it. We'll go over it with something else. Don't worry. I'm gonna put a little bit of <laughs> funk, <laughs> which is the yellow color from this the dynamite. Gosh, I put. Bl <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put foundation on because this is gonna get out of control, and then I'm not gonna be able to put blush on. And I've done that too many times to myself. 
I respect myself too much to do that to myself again. So I will do that. Foundation is on. Let's continue making an absolute mess. Anyway, so we just put down the yellow. I'm gonna put down cacti, which is like a dark, like denim kind of color. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, don't. This isn't even a tutorial. This is just watch me get my frustrations about for 22 minutes, probably. Watch makeup tactics lose her mind for 22 minutes straight. And now I'm gonna go in with shrub. Hmm. Let me put blush on before I forget. Or not forget, but just like everything gets out of hand and then I'm not gonna be able to put blush on. Oh, this is milk. Milk, lip, and cheek, and perk. Anyway, back to the reveal show. Oh, my nails are so nasty. You just don't even look at them. Just don't even look at them, okay? It all it happens to the best of us. This mint color is so cute. This was still shrub, but this is this up here. Mint. And she deserves all the recognition. Anyway. Purple. I I don't think I'm gonna put the um orange on the side just because I think I have enough purple in these to not do that. <laughs> Beautiful. Art. This color is so soft and nice. I Oh, that was Rhythm from Disco Dynamite and now I'm taking Fever also from Disco Dynamite. Wrong color. Can you see my wings? <laughs> it's giant and I love it. I'm gonna powder right up in here. I always get so much fallout on my nose and I'm just, I'm learning to take steps to avoid it. <laughs> this brush smells like the soap I cleaned it with. Let me see how that works. Oh, this is Milk Blur and Set. I know I don't set my face, but sometimes it's just hard with fallout. Okay. And it's only there's only fallout because I'm literally digging my finger into the eyeshadow and then <laughs> putting out my eye. So all the extra whenever I blink or express myself with my face. It all falls down my face, okay? You didn't need to have an explanation for that, but here you go. Pansy from Toy Botany is also like maybe stealing my heart. Oh no, can you tell the difference between them? They're different though. Hello, guy. <laughs> my dude. Peony, which is a shimmery pink. Can you believe? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to take Remix, which is the white, and mix it with Pansy. This is probably a stupid idea because it might just turn into rhythm, but whatever. Whoa, hello. Worst comes to worst, I'm just gonna add a different purple or a darker purple so I can kind of match the other side. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Please hold. Okay, I'm back. I've grabbed ColourPop Ooh La La. I thought this color would work. And I also grabbed this Revolution Pro Mischief Math palette. So we'll see how that works out for me. This is darker. Okay, a trick 
while I'm repriming would be to mix your colors, like the Apache colors, which we all know is purple, just in general, would be to mix it, if you only have like eyeshadow or powder, mix it with concealer or something like light colored and creamy. So in my case, it would be concealer because I'm white. If you mix it with that, and it'll turn into a paint, and then it'll do this a lot easier. So, there's a tip. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do it, but I just, I literally just remembered. Okay, now, with a brush, because my fingers are so dirty, I'm going to take the shimmering pink again and just so I can really get in there is why I'm also using the brush <laughs> I'm literally gonna die you know what I'm just gonna use synth which is the dark blue and you know what it's just gonna it's just gonna help carry everything together you know who cares? I don't. <laughs> so why do you? We're just dotting that on. And then I want to use the pink that's in the ColourPop palette. But it'll stain me and I have somewhere to be tomorrow. Even though I'm going to be messed probably, so it won't matter anyway. But I'm going to use a pink from the Mischief Matte palette instead. I'm just adding remakes everywhere, apparently. Just some dots. This reminds me of my old shower curtain. <laughs> the only bad part about doing looks like like this is that fallout's everywhere and will continue to be everywhere as long as <laughs> you're alive. And this is a very easy way to not have to do your eyebrows. <laughs> Just start putting stuff all over your face with no rhyme or reason. You, my friend, are Gucci. I'm gonna put some mascara on, then we'll pop back. I might add some other stuff to the eyes. I'm unsure. I'm back. I've done some other things. I kind of forgot. So many <laughs> things have changed. Keep up. Now, we're gonna go in with some liner, okay? But these are the Fenty Beauty eyeliners. This one is in Techno Beat. This one is Skinny Dip. And then this one is Lime Fever. Beautiful. I'm trying not to get stained, otherwise I'd use the other green and blue, but those two do stain, so I'm not going to use them. But I'm going to go on this side and just kind of sketch out like a sh some shapes. Oh, I use this one too. This one is Hottie Alert. So I'm just going to sketch out or just like make some wiggly lines, you know, maybe like define a circle or two, you know. You can also take whatever liner you're using. You can do this with cream eyeliners or like gel eyeliners too. Um, take something round. I have this uh, tattoo stamp <laughs> container. And if you put it on the back of your hand or like dip it in if you can, you can use this to make 
some perfect circles, pretty much. But I think I'm gonna just use, I'm just gonna do freehand. That way it kind of matches the messiness of everything else. You feel me? You understand, you know what I'm talking about. It's all about self-expression, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentle femmes as well. This has been like one of my favorite ways to add like dimension and kind of texture to a look lately. I think it's so fun. Cause like if you mess up, no one can tell because it's already messy. <laughs> And then I'm gonna use skinny dip on both eyes, I think. Actually, I have this one, so I don't think I need to use it on the other one. But like, if you wanted to break up, um, like right here, there's these colors are kind of just blending together and they're not as defined. So I'll just go kind of break it up. Maybe just a line through the brow. Who knows? Who, 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 you know? I've gotten pretty good at drawing freehand circles. <laughs> Not to brag. Just like pay attention that you're not mixing up colors. Like, it's very easy to make, like, if I put this over black and then dipped it back in, over time, this is going to change color. So try to keep an eye out and if you get a lot of a random color on, just like wipe it on the back of your hand. That way you keep the color as clean, if you will, as possible. I think I'm gonna go in with a white t-shirt. That's what it's called. Wet t-shirt. And add white to kind of bring that two together since I didn't um I didn't use the blue on both eyes. deck of scarlet a long lasting lip liner in bell i got this like feels like forever ago it's not the color i remembered i want to use low key what am i doing lip polish. Claire. She tingles. This is the finished look. 